This is a middle loop quick quick class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class on what to do if your zoom dial isn't zooming. We've heard from a number of our viewers who've reported that their zoom dial is disabled when taking photos on the RC Pro. In today's quick class, we solve that problem. We'll start out with an introduction, just a quick level set about zooming and the cameras on the Mavic 3. We'll show the differences between the original and Pro versions. Next, we'll demonstrate the problem that was reported regarding the camera control dial not zooming as expected. We'll reproduce the issue. Next, we'll show how to solve it. In fact, we'll go over all the ways to zoom in both photo and video modes. The Fly app provides a lot of options. And finally, we'll show customizing the control dial on the RC Pro, just in case you've changed it from the default and that's why zoom isn't working. Before we get started, we have lots of videos on various topics related to drones. From live streaming, to simple editing, to expanding the memory of the controller. If you haven't already, you might consider subscribing to our channel. And as always, tap that like button if you find this video useful. You wouldn't believe how much it helps. We really appreciate it. Now, let's get started. This quick class applies to the original Mavic 3. Mavic 3 Cine and Mavic 3 Pro versions. There are some differences which we'll point out as we go. What we'll be showing doesn't necessarily apply to the Classic and Enterprise editions. Some of this may apply, but it's not the focus of this video. Today's screenshots were all taken using the Mavic 3 Cine and the RC Pro controller. We've also tested on the RC N1 controller, and again, we'll cover the differences as we go. The biggest difference between the original and Pro versions is the number of cameras. The original has two and the Pro has three. Both have the Hasselblad camera on a four-thirds sensor and a telephoto camera on a half-inch sensor. The Pro version has an additional medium telephoto camera which fills in the gap between the two. As I mentioned earlier, we've heard from a number of viewers that the camera control dial doesn't work for them to zoom the camera in and out when taking photos. The camera control dial is the one on the top right of the RC Pro. Incidentally, the RCM1 controller doesn't have this dial. Instead, it uses the dial on the left side, but you have to hold down the function button when you rotate it. Otherwise, the RCM1 controller behaves exactly the same as the RC Pro. Okay, so let's check it out. Tapping the mode icon, you can see that we're currently set to single photo mode. First, let's change it to video, and by default, video will be set to normal mode. Now, to get rid of this menu, we just have to tap anywhere on the screen. Now, as I rotate the camera control dial clockwise to the right, it zooms in, and rotating to the left, zooms out. Now let's go back to that single photo mode. And now when we rotate the dial, you got it, nothing happens. That's exactly the behavior that's been reported. Zooming doesn't work in photo mode. So, I checked with DJI support. It took a little explaining, and they had to check with engineering, but eventually, here's the answer they gave. Basically what they're saying that ever since this version, single photo mode no longer supports zooming. You can only switch from the Hasselblad camera at 1x to the telephoto camera at 7x. In other words, they say that it's working as designed. In fact, if you try to zoom in using a different method, you get a message saying that zoom is not supported in this mode. But you do have options. We'll show you how to solve the problem next. So let's explore the various options you have for zooming in both photo and video modes. As you can see, we're still set to single photo mode. In this mode, by default, notice the 1x is highlighted in yellow, meaning we're currently on the 4 thirds sensor. Incidentally, on the Mavic 3 Pro model, you'll also have a third medium telephoto camera here. Now if you remember, DJI support said only 1x and 7x are supported in this mode. What they mean is that in this mode, you can only switch between the cameras and the lock down to the optical fixed lens of the camera you're on. They don't allow digital zooming here. To switch to the other camera, just tap on it. And that's your only option in the photo single mode. Now if we go back to video mode, you can see that we can still switch between cameras by tapping on them. But in video mode, digital zooming is enabled, which we can do by rotating the camera control dial. You also notice that it shows the magnification right on the camera icon and that it stops when it hits the maximum digital zoom for whatever camera you're on. By the way, instead of just tapping, you can tap and hold on the icon. 
and now you can drag up and down to zoom in and out. You've probably heard me say it before, but these icons on the screen are very small, and this is one of the reasons we like using a touchscreen stylus when we fly. If interested, we'll put a link in the description to the one we use. We find it very helpful. Okay, so DJI gives us one more option for zooming. You can also use a pinching motion on the touch screen. With two fingers, pinch out to zoom in. And pinch in to zoom out. Again, this does not work in photo mode. So what does work in photo mode? Let's go ahead and switch back to photo mode, and this time, instead of leaving it in single mode, let's change it to explore mode. Tap that explore icon. Now getting rid of that menu, you'll notice you're only seeing one camera, and it's defaulting to 1x. In explore mode, zooming is now enabled and the drone handles switching between the cameras automatically. So now if you rotate the dial, it zooms in, and when it reaches the max for the camera it's on, you'll see it jump to the next camera. Now it's not exactly a smooth transition between cameras. This is one place where the pro version of the Mavic 3 is definitely better. The jump between cameras is not so harsh as with the original Mavic 3, and that's because the Pro version has that medium telephoto camera. Here too, by the way, you can tap on the camera icon and it will jump in increments. Or tap and hold, then drag to zoom, like we did before. And of course, pinching the touch screen to zoom in and out works here too. And if we switch to video mode, it too has an explore option, which works exactly the same. If you're having any trouble at all with the camera control dial not working as we've described, it's possible that the behavior of the dial has been customized and it's no longer set to the default. To check it, tap the three dots in the upper right. Tap the control tab if it's not already selected. Scroll down to button customization and tap on the right arrow. From here, you could select Reset in the upper right to change all of the settings back to the factory default, but instead, let's scroll down to the right dial selection. Here, it should be set to the Zoom In and Out option. If not, tap that down arrow and change it back. So that's it for this quick class. I hope you found it useful. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying!